Trade representatives from the United States and Japan beginning on Thursday a two-day meeting in Washington, D.C. set to discuss trade issues in an effort to come up with free, fair, and reciprocal trade between the two countries. Again, the two-day meeting being led by the U.S. Trade Representative, Ambassador Robert Lighthizer, and his Japanese counterpart. Two countries were originally part of the Multinational Trans-Pacific Partnership, or TPP. That deal, though, as part of a campaign promise, President Donald Trump pulled out of it just after he took office. Now, agricultural groups have been pleading with the administration to reconsider joining the Trans-Pacific Partnership, which was set to become the world's largest free trade deal covering 40% of the global economy. And for his part, Trump has signaled, at least he did so earlier this year, that he would be willing to re-enter the discussions with the countries under certain conditions. And though the U.S. did pull out of the deal, the remaining countries, including Japan, moved forward and all signed the agreement, now known as the CPTPP, the Con Comprehensive and Progressive Trans-Pacific Partnership, keeping most of the original language intact. Now, as of 2016, Japan, the fourth largest goods export market for the United States, has been a very good agricultural market as well. It's fourth on the list. And the leading categories for U.S. exports to Japan right now, corn at $2.1 billion, pork and pork products at $1.6 billion, beef and beef products at $1.5 billion, soybeans at a billion, and wheat at $610 million. With another Ag News update, I'm Tony St. James.